Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to part number three of Human Resource Machine. Last time out, we was looking at Exclusive Lounge um, and still not really got any further. Had a bit of a think about it off camera and didn't really come up with anything um, substantial of how I might solve that. So I'm going to leave that one for now. We're actually going to move over to Absolute Positivity on a year 16 here. Aha! Positive attitudes were determined to in yeah, determined to increase productivity and are now therefore mandatory. Smile, management is watching. Alright, send each thing from the outbox to the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Okay, so So we're gonna do this. If it's negative Gonna jump if negative. And so if it's negative, then we need to subtract it from itself, right? So copy it to zero and then subtract it from zero. And then outbox. If it's not just jump straight to outbox, right? And then repeat. All right, let's see what that does. Oh. It needs to be the same value, but just not negative. My bad. Not following my instructions properly. Copy to that. negative copy it to there if we add it to itself it add zero copy to one copy from zero subtract from one I kind of feel like there's going to be a better way to do that. Yeah. Man, ten steps over. And two commands fewer. Alright, I'm going to go back to that one. It's not time for a coffee break yet, knock. I've got time for coffee. Also, my camera's a little bit skew -wiffy. Sorry. Okay, so... It's all this bit here, which is a bit... Um, I'm not too sure about. How else can we do it though? What's the other way to remove the negative sign? So let's take a three, so that'd be negative six. I can take this, I don't need to copy it back to there, do I? So that should just be substitute track from zero, right? Hold on, let's go back. Minus three. Yeah, minus six, minus, yeah, that's... So that's where I kind of need to do the whole... Thank you. 
That's what I had before, right? Yeah, that's what I had before. So how can I optimize that? So if it's negative... We don't need the zero. We just need to know if it's negative, which we're doing. We need to copy it, then add it to double it. All right. I don't want to try and get like too hung up on these ones for now. So um, I think we're going to come back to sabbatical beach paradise. We'll come back to try to do some of these a little bit later, I think. I don't want to, like, get too drawn up at this stage of the game. Um, like, being too stumped. I want to try and like, keep the puzzles flowing, and then we can come back to them at a later date. So, yeah, hope you don't mind, guys. Also, let me just uh, do that. There we go. Nice, relaxing beach sabbatical. Countdown. Career Master on number three we have reached. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. Time keeps ticking down. Don't. Let's get to work. Oh, yes. I love what you've done with your hair. I didn't even notice that. All right, so for each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. You got one new command. They add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. The result is given back to you, and for your convenience, also written right back to the floor. Bump. All right, so take the inbox. Copy to zero. Outbox. So, if it's negative, then we're going to need to do. Copy from zero, negative bump, send to outbox. If it's zero, go back to there. If it's not zero, we're going to go back to there, right? So if it's not negative, do we need to worry about the negative? Let's see what happens. Empty value, you can't jump if zero with... What? I thought that was what I was meant to do. Try that. Try 
try that. Oh, I've got to do the zero. Okay, so. If it's zero... Alright, so if it's zero, send it to the outbox, then jump back to the beginning. Right? So then, if it's negative, copy from zero, from plus zero, and then to add another jump in here. If negative goes to there, why am I... Why have I got an empty value? I don't understand why I've got an empty value. Alright, so. Inbox. Copy it to zero. Take it to the outbox. If it's negative, which it's not. So, and then... Oh. Let's get rid of that one. Let's copy it first. If it's negative, jump to, jump to... Yeah, okay, so... Three, two, one, zero. Minus five. There we go. took the zero. So we took it to the outbox. Do we need another zero in then? If it's zero straight away, then we need to go to here. Goodness. I feel like I'm making a right hash of this, to be honest. And 12 steps though, 14 steps, 14 steps, sorry, not 12. 10 or fewer. Wow. <laughs> All right, like, well, like I said, we'll, we'll come back to some of these. I'm going to leave the left-hand side as well, I think. I'm going to concentrate on this right-hand side for a start. So, uh, Multiplication Workshop is our next uh, challenge. Seems like only yesterday we were learning about adding. Fond memories. We worked so hard back then. 
Right, for each two things in the inbox, multiply them and our box result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You get label. You got labels. They hope you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap any tile on the floor to edit it. Okay. So for each two things in the inbox, multiply them. So I'm going to take... Inbox. Copy to zero. Inbox. Uh, hold on a minute. Where's the multiplication? Uh, did I done did a boo boo? Um, oh, do I just need to do it every, for every two items? For every two items, isn't it? So, inbox, inbox, copy to zero. Add zero outbox jump. No, nope. isn't that wrong? So how how am I meant to? I thought I'd have like a multiplication command. Hmm. Uh, okay. So how can I do this? Okay, so what if I took the inbox, copied the first one to zero, take the inbox, copy the next one to one. So then, if we then Negative bump zero. If we're on zero, copy from two, for instance, take it to the outbox, jump back to the beginning. All right, so if it's not zero, though. What we're going to do is copy from one, add from one, and copy it to two. Then we're going to jump back to here. I think. Let's see what happens. Should be there. 
Alright, so two. Two times four is eight. <laughs> Whoopsie! We went wrong there with a the negative number. Okay. I guess it kind of confused me. It said not to worry about negative numbers. Three five is fifteen, right? What? Oh, what's going on with my program? It's kind of working all the way up to that negative number. Take the first one, copy to the second one. But if we've got that one, then we need to copy it from zero first. Okay, let's try that. missing out the ad, isn't it? Add one. Add two. Well, how about we get rid of that and we copy to two as well. Two, right? All right, so it's when it's this is negative there, that's when it starts to mess it up. If it's zero or if it's negative, do that. Maybe if negative needs to be above this. Be zeros there as well. No, so that throws into negative territory again. Ah! Why is logic so hard sometimes? <laughs> oh man. Um, I need to start again. Because I'm getting in a right faff here. Right, so copy to zero. 
copy to one. So this is going to be the multiple. That is going to be the... I know. That's going to be the result. Okay. Let's get rid of hello. Don't want that anymore. Not sure if you're on one zero either, but hey. Okay. So seven there. Put that one there. And I'm also gonna want to copy it to two as well. Copy to the multiple, copy to the results, that's the first one. So Copy from multiple. If it's zero, we're going to copy from result, send to the outbox, and then return to the beginning. If it's not, then we're going to need to bump it. Copy from here. Then add to result. And then we need to jump back to here. But then we also need to check if it's zero here. All right, let's try that. Should be 28 the result here. Six. One. Step back then. All right, so. That is zero. We're actually going to copy from multiple instead. Maybe? And if we've done that, then we're going to need to jump back to here. Oh man, I feel like this is like so complicated. 14. We have zero. Zero. It works. I'm pretty sure there could be a, a far more optimal solution though to what I just did. Yeah, three more, three less commands. And a lot less steps. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please comment down below. Always interested to hear your thoughts and um, theories on the way I'm solving the puzzles. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.